Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Friday, January the 12th. It's the first week after the Epiphany, and week one in the Psalm Cycle. And thank you for joining me. And a programming note, uh, next week I'm going to be on hiatus, and uh, I'll return on Sunday, January 21st. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, preserve me, O God, for I put my trust in you. Alleluia. Psalms 16 and 17, and please recite them with me. Alleluia, preserve me, O God, for I put my trust in you. I have said you are my God, my good above all others. I delight in all the saints that are on the earth. But their sorrows shall increase that choose other gods. Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, nor take their names upon my lips. For you are my portion and my cup. It is you that maintain my lot. My boundaries contain pleasant places, and I have a goodly heritage. I bless you, for you have given me counsel, and you also instruct me in the night. You are always before me at my right hand, and I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices, and my body shall rest in hope. For you will not leave me in hell, nor let me see corruption. You show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Alleluia. Hear my cause, which is right, O God, Attend to my cry, and give ear to my prayer, which does not come from deceitful lips. Vindicate me, for your eyes see the truth. You have searched my heart. You have visited me in the night. You have tried me, and find nothing wrong in me. I do not sin with my mouth like others. Because of your word I have kept from violence, keep me in your paths, that my feet do not slip. I have called on you. For you will hear me, O God. Incline your ear to me, and listen to my words. Show your marvelous loving kindness, you that save by your right hand. Save them which put their trust in you from those that rise against them. Keep me as the apple of your eye, and hide me under the shadow of your wings, from the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who circle about me. Their hearts are shut tightly, and with their mouths they boast. Now they have surrounded us in our steps. They watch waiting to strike me down. Like a lion that is greedy for its prey, <clears throat> like a young lion lurking in secret places, rise, O God, and disappoint them, and cast them down. Deliver my soul from the wicked by your sword. From those, O God, who are of the world, who find their reward in this life, who you fill with your treasure. They have abundance of children and leave their wealth to their little ones. In my vindication, I will see your face and I shall be satisfied when I awake to see your glory. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, preserve me, O God, for I put my trust in you. Alleluia. Genesis chapter 6, beginning at verse 1. Now when people began to multiply on the face of the ground, and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that they were fair, and they took wives for themselves of all they chose. Then the Most High said, My spirit shall not abide in mortals forever, for they are flesh. Their days shall be one hundred twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also afterwards, when the sons of God went in to the daughters of humans, who bore children to them. These were the heroes that were of old, warriors of renown. And the Most High saw that the wickedness of humans was great in the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of their hearts was only evil continually. 
And the Most High was sorry that he had made humans on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So the Most High said, I will blot out from the earth the humans I have created, people together with animals and creeping things and birds of the air. For I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the sight of the Most High. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and pledges redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever. For the intentions of those who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Save us from our enemies, O God, and vindicate us. May we live not for this life, but for the world to come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> we trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.